hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is andrea and on this day i'll be showing you how i wear my wig over my locks if this is your first time joining us please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video well this is my wig cap and this is my locks as you can see how thick it is and how long it is and so people were wondering how did it get this under a wig just stay tuned ah i'm sure it is hacking because see here now see here <laughs> all right guys um let's move on uh you might need to moisturize your hair first before going through this process but then after i must have done that i think i'm just feeling my hair right now and i just want you all to see the volume of the hair so I'm using a rubber band to pack my head to the back. This method might not actually work for everybody because some hair might actually be longer than this and it wouldn't work. Some might be tinier and it will be better if you actually braid your locks down. But this is how I actually do it. The easiest way for me though. This might not work for all kinds of wigs but because the one i'll be wearing today is going to be coily one not so coily but it has waves so you may need to use a bobby pin to hold the sides some of these locks are actually peeping the ends out like that one you may actually need a bobby pin, but I don't have one here. So the next is our wig cap. Most people like to use the color of their scalp, but anyone I see is good for me though. So, watch online. I shifted my rubber band back a little bit down, and um. Yeah, somebody brought in some food and that is my best friend who came around to the house. That's um, Sprinkles. So I'll be dividing my hair into two, taking one to the left and taking one to the right and tucking it in into the wicker. How come will really you get out of my face? <laughs> I'm tucking it into the wig cap and making sure that everything is tight in there, fixing all the strands. Yes, it's giving me this whole bumpy thing behind, but that one is inevitable. Even if <laughs> your hair is shorter than mine, it's still going to give you this bump behind because that's where the whole hair I don't know if I can <laughs> like she just wants to enter my video <laughs> so yeah it's fully tucked in and you can see bump 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 that's why I said wearing a straight hair might not be advisable with locks unless your locks are actually very slim that you can break them all down and that would be better but my locks are actually coiling and this is it sorry my wig is actually curly that's the wig i'll be wearing and boom see how the front of my scalp was looking like i'm on low coat but when i turn the back you see that oh, i have a lot of hair behind me okay so i'm just going to put this on you all know how to wear a wig now This is me under the sun. I don't dress this week very well though, it's not in the center, but that's fine. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time with us. You'll be seeing more videos from me. See you soon. Bye.